if you remember last week, there wasn't much high impact news affecting the Forex market, but this week is very, very different. So for the last three days of November and the first two days of December 2022, we have just a full calendar of high impact news. So be sure and check forexfactory.com for your local time zones and the times of the data releases. Of particular interest will be uh, Jerome Powell will be speaking on Thursday at 1.30 a.m. That's the Asia Times. And then on Friday, we have uh, the non-farm payroll release of that data. And that will be the last non-farm payrolls for 2022. So again, a full week of high impact news, and this will uh, cause a lot of uh, volatility, a lot of movement with the various currencies and uh, gold, of course, which is paired with the U.S. dollar, and a lot of you trade gold. So be sure and check forexfactory.com for your local time zones and be aware of these high impact news items which are coming out this week. From the trade setups that I shared with you last week, you can see that we had a very successful week. Uh, the Euro USD uh, buy limit did execute on the very first day of the week uh, for a total of 205 pips. If you close that uh, early on Thursday, it did come down a little bit. If you've got that trade still open, you're still in profit. Uh, but uh, if you were able to close that uh, during Thursday before the uh, U.S. session opened and then before Friday, then you got a total of 205 pips. On the odd U.S., that one also executed, did very well, opened on the, uh, the first day of the week, and then went right up to 105 pips, started to fall down on Friday, but if you were watching that on, on Friday's uh, opening session uh, with the Asian Pacific market, you could have closed that with uh, around 100 pips. The New Zealand US, however, did not execute. The pending order was just a little bit too low. Then the pound US also had a buy limit on that one, and the pending order was just a little bit too low also, so that one did not execute. And did I have a trade set up on the USD CAD? No. We jumped down to the odd JPY, and this one did execute, and it was a very, very volatile week for the Japanese pairs, but this one did open on the, uh, say one, two, three, four, five, yeah, that one opened on Monday morning, and then on uh, throughout the week, it was just pretty sideways, and then finally on Thursday, dropped down and gave us a total of 73 pips. If you close that uh, during the U.S. session on Thursday, you would have got out with 73 pips. The CAD JPY, uh, this was the cash cow, the big, the big uh, the profit maker for the week with a total of 238 pips. This one opened on the first day of the week and then just <laughs> it went down, 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 and all the way to the bottom there. If you close that on the Thursday session, you would have finished up with 238 pips. And then the Swiss JPY, well, unfortunately, that one hit the stop loss. And I don't know why I keep giving a trade setup for this for the Swiss JPY. It has just been so crazy uh, for the last few weeks, uh, mostly going sideways. But uh, very, very unpredictable moves with the Swiss JPY. And there was no tra trade setup for the uh, pound JPY. So let's have a look at the trade setups that I have in place for this upcoming week, the last three days of November and the first two days of December 2022. But before I share my trade setups with you, uh, remember, these are the trades that I'm planning. These are the trades that I take. This is my perspective, what I see happening in the market. This is not financial advice. I'm not suggesting or recommending you take the same trades. You can if you want but it's up to you to manage your own account and to use good risk management. I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing this week in the Forex markets. Starting off with gold, we have resistance at 1760, 1780, 1792, and we have support at 1740 and 1695. And previously in the last week or 10 days, gold has been showing bearish on the H4 chart, but bullish on the day chart. However, that has just changed in the last couple of days of, the, uh, of last week, and we see that now gold is bullish on the day chart and also bullish on the H4 chart, the four-hour chart. So I uh, always look for an opportunity to buy if gold is bullish. If gold is bearish, I look for an opportunity to sell. But as gold is bullish, I have a buy limit, and the entry price is $17.45. Closed uh, Friday at 17.54, so I expected to retrace a little bit 
uh, right there at the blue line, just a little bit above our major support, we have a minor support there at 1745. So I have my buy limit for gold at 1745. On the Euro US, I also have a buy limit uh, at entry price 1.0318. And the odd US, I have a buy limit at 0 0.6680. And the New Zealand US, I have a buy limit with the entry price at 0 0.6155. And the pound US, a buy limit with the entry price at 1.2055. And I believe I've even, yeah, got a trade set up, a planned trade for the USD CAD. I don't often uh, have a trade set up for this one. I don't trade it often, but uh, it looks like a good setup for the USD CAD with a sell limit at 1.3435. Then jumping down to the Japanese pairs, which I often trade. And as you can see with the volatility of the, the odd JPY, I've decided to uh, uh, to have no trade on this upcoming week and it is showing me neutral on my day chart and when I see something is uh, indicating neutral that means no direction so no trade. The CAN JPY however could turn out to be a, a very very good one it was good last week. Uh, entry price on the sell limit at 104.55 and the Swiss JPY Guess what? <laughs> I'm really tired of even planning these trades on the Swiss JPY because uh, the last month or two, they just really haven't been working out very well. They're just uh, too much sideways movement, too much uh, uh, not clear direction, and uh, uh, trade setups that I plan just haven't worked out. As, as I showed you uh, last week, we hit the stop loss, so I'm going to sit this week out with the Swiss JPY. I believe I do have one for the GBP JPY with that's a buy limit. Uh, let that retrace just a little bit and the entry price is 168.00. Okay, that's my trade setups for this upcoming week, guys. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like, love, and share if you're watching on Facebook. And don't forget to comment uh, if you're watching on YouTube and be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I make one of these videos, which is every Sunday before the market opens on the following Monday. And look below and you will see my uh, social uh, links to Facebook, to uh, Telegram, to my official LINE account. And also I've added a link to my new project which I've launched for auto trading, okay, EA trading, robot trading. Brand new project. I've been trading EA's robots for about five years and I'm just now launching this new project so if you're interested in uh, auto trading, EA trading, robot trading which is great because robots have no emotions and they they work very well about 80 percent of my trades are actually from EA trading so if you're interested in, in learning how to uh, manage EA trading uh, just click that little link and, and there's plenty of information there and I will reply to you thanks again for being here I appreciate your support, and don't forget to like, love, and share, and leave any comments, and I will get back to you. Have a great week of trading, and I'll see you again next Sunday. Bye-bye.